What up guys, welcome to Inspire to Cook. Today I'm gonna show you a super cool, very delicious and nutritious snack you can easily do at home. I'm gonna show you how to do banana chips. Banana chips are very nutritious and very good for you, but they could be very expensive if you buy them at the store. Well today I'm gonna show you how to very easily and inexpensively do it at home. They're gonna be very good and you know they're not gonna have any extra preservatives. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna preheat our oven to 200 degrees. What we're gonna need for this is some bananas. I'm gonna use two bananas, some lemon juice that I'm gonna mix in with a little bit of water, and we're gonna need ground turmeric. Not sure how to pronounce it, check it out. Of course, we're gonna need some baking sheet and some parchment or baking paper, and I sprayed some cooking spray over here so it sticks a little bit easier and stays in place. Look how cool it is. And we're also gonna spray some cooking spray on top of the baking paper. So you see how much water I have? And in this amount of water, I'm gonna add the turmeric spice, or whatever it's pronounced. And we're gonna squeeze out a half a lemon. But first I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and it will allow me to get as much juice as, as possible out of that lemon. It's a little bit hot out of the microwave and we're gonna squeeze it out. Look how much juice it comes out of it. We're gonna turn it and squeeze it again. If you bring a bunch of tea or icy, you can throw that leftovers in and it will give you some good lemon flavor. And then we're gonna mix it up. One thing I forgot to say, I'm using warm water so everything mixes in much better. Once our juice is ready, we're gonna go ahead and peel the bananas. Get rid of the black ends, if there are some, and cut them into thin slices for the chips, just like that. Our banana is all cut up, and we're gonna mix in our juice again, our sauce, if you will. We're gonna start throwing the bananas in. The spice will give it a nice yellow flavor, and the lemon juice will prevent it from getting brown. You wanna fit in as much as you can. If you have little sauce, you can actually soak it in two sets. Looks like mine will fit in two bananas. You wanna be careful not to squish it, and you want to make sure the juice penetrates everywhere and covers the bananas. We're going to let it sit just for a few minutes. So it's been about two minutes and we're going to prepare our, our baking sheet by spraying a thin layer of cooking spray. We're going to get our bananas out and spread them on our cooking sheet. All right, we laid out all of our future banana chips and it's ready to go into the oven for about two hours. After two hours, we're going to flip the bananas over and bake them for an additional an hour and a half or so. The last hour and a half, this is what it's going to look like and it's not completely dry yet, but we're gonna let it cool and it's gonna dry out as it cools. And after the banana chips dried out, look how beautiful it looks. Nice and golden color to it, perfect texture. You see how strong it is? Mmm, and nice and gooey on the inside. This is beautiful, very delicious banana chips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Subscribe if you like it, and we'll see you next time. Ay, ay, ay,